well hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to show you how you can easily make an otp sending scripts using python so let us see the requirements what are they first we need a dummy email so let's make it okay we can go to gmail and here we go here we can make our totally dummy gmail account so just uh, go to gmail not on the contacts got it so here is our email so let's see the next requirement huh we are next requirement is enable less secure app in email okay go to the email go to google accounts here comes to security and you must search also or go to the down and you will see here less secure app just click on it and allow less secure apps turn it on okay so our next requirement is going to fulfill then let's see the third requirement python decouple okay so this is optional part but i highly recommend to install this module because it is going to help you in very aspects very much aspects so let's download it just put a command pip uh, in my case i am using linux 3 uh, sorry linux so i'll type pip 3 but if you are using windows just type pip install the module name is decouple okay press enter and wait for a couple of meter minute yes in my case i already downloaded it so it is not going to download again okay clear the terminal and let's head out to the, our next requirement email template okay so let's see here i'll find this github repository i'll put this link to the description portion okay we are going to just copy this all template part copy and let's head out to our terminal here let's make so let's make a directory first for our project okay so mkdir this is same for windows and linux as well okay so mkdir for making a directory so i'm going to make a directory name called uh, otp sender okay it's standard otp sender hit enter and let's check whether it's created or not so yes our directory is been created so let's go to that directory and here we go we are now in our otp sender directory now let's create a index.html file first let us create an index.html file index.html hit enter and paste everything which you are copied from that github repository and just save it so if we can see whether our index.html is modified or not so here we go our index.html file is modified okay again clear the terminal oh, so all our four requirements are going to be fulfilled now let's head out to the, our python script let's make it um, let us open the folder in which we are working on uh, this open sender otp sender okay now you can see our index.html file we can now create here another file named as script.py okay and save it here okay now let's start our scripting okay here is our required modules okay so let me explain first uh, from email dot message uh, we import a email message class okay this is uh, this is the class which by which we can create our email okay and uh, from decouple we import config this mod uh, this function is required to for taking input from your dot env file or you can uh, call it as system environments okay and here next we can import uh, smtp lib and ssl these two are for creating a secure connection to our smtp server smtp server is used to send emails okay and at last we can use random method by in this we can create an otp okay so let's first read out all the content of our index.html file we can create a data so remember this thing we can read whenever we read data from a html file then html file contain double inverted comma so we can create a string using triple inverted comma it is also valid in python okay so you don't have to worry about it just create it and uh, we can now just with open and suggest the file now uh, which is dot slash index dot ht ml okay take it as a string okay so in python you don't have to provide the other part of this open function okay just put the file path okay and allies as file we are done and 
append this to the data so data dot read data is equals to file dot read mm, this will read all the content of index dot html file and then we create our main function okay so this is not a main function this is function what we call otp call so let's name is at otp or as it uh, will take receiver email and return otp okay by which we can verify our email okay so receiver sorry if i miss spell anything <laughs> okay email let's make it all in caps now we going we are going to take our email from environment variables this is for security purpose you may also do that it's a good practice so just email i'll show you how to put environment and retrieve the data from it okay pass is equals to config and pass let's keep it password okay huh. now create another file and save it as dot env dot env okay save it yeah you can see dot env file and here are the email and password okay so just put it email is equals to what is our email test script test script 45k at red gmail dot com and then put a password make sure to make it similar to this okay similar to this so that the one two three four five six okay so here you can know why we use config function config function just read the data from dot env file okay up until now it is good now next create our message okay just create msg is equal to initialize an object of email message email message so here is our object and now this object has different parts so let's initialize each and every part msg now what are the parts subjects here are some of the listed oh no 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 these are auto completion subject okay and which is going to be say suppose otp test okay just give it a reasonable subject okay so subject matter msg from equals to from put this email okay your email and from here what next msg2 to whom you are want to send this email okay so receiver email receiver otp oh, okay let's change this name as email sorry for that it's not otp it's email my bad and then uh, create our otp this is very simple function just string and call random function random dot rand int and uh, give the range in which we are wanting otp okay so i want six digit otp so i'll put one comma okay so this will provide us a six digit otp now uh, let's okay now go to the index.html and find the message line uh, email template and append this thing and here is your otp so this is just a syntax you may give it whatever you want okay not necessary you will write like this just put it whatever you want uh, for replacing word or you may apply this also save it come to our python file cancel okay and create another variable page is equals to data dot replace and what we are going to replace which is percentile otp percentile this with what uh, with our original otp otp okay so this is going to replace and here is our page get ready so let's see whether it is correct or not yes otp and here is the same so our otp lies here okay up until now it is okay then um, come to the next part so now let's add this html page to our message okay so msg dot add alternate 
pixels and provide is our variable which is page and provide what type is this it is subtype is equals to html no? okay so our message is ready now create a secure ssl to communicate with our smtp server okay so just create context context is equals to ssl dot create default context so this is for secure ssl and then create our server okay so for server creation we use smtp variable smtp smtp lib dot smtp and provide two things server name and port so server name is going to be as we are using gmail so server name is going to be smtp dot gmail dot com okay if you are using another type of email you may find the smtp email server name. mail address from google just google it okay and provide a port we provide 557 now connect it smtp is equals to hello not e h hello hello smtp equals to start tls and give it as a context we created earlier here goes our context and again connect it context and login to our email for sending email just go to login function provide here your email which you have created earlier this email and pass okay email comma pass send message send message so you don't need to remember all of these things i'll provide the github link here okay github repo for this project in the description section and quit it after sending the email and re simply return the otp turn otp no we are done <sighs> now let's come back to our main content now here we are using this otp okay so let's make a variable called otp is equals to otp for and provide its sender or receiver email okay so receiver email i'll provide it my personal email okay so now this is going to do what this is send an otp to my mail and let's check our email <laughs> so here you can see no email is there let's refresh it okay now verify it if otp is equals to and take input from user okay user input is equals to Okay, this is the message for user and verify it. User input, if it matches, then simply print valid OTP. Otherwise, print invalid OTP. Okay, so our function is totally ready, our program is ready, our script is ready. Just I think that here yeah, dot is going to be dot yes 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 sorry 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 this is my bad dot now try it again finally run it okay this script will send an email to me okay let's check it 
whether we could receive or not yes 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 we could receive the OTP and open it mm -hmm. and here is our recent OTP like where is our recent OTP yes here it is which is 690 and 600 copy it go to the terminal paste it hit enter valid OTP now let's check it with a invalid OTP okay so run this function again run this script again and let's see what we are getting now hit a refresh hmm, now we are getting 856623 okay and we are providing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, any 6 digit number invalid OTP so our OTP sender is working properly properly hope you all find this video informative if you are finding this video informative then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more such interesting contents thank you bye bye